In this video, I'm going to show a brief demonstration of Factory Talk Optics working with Logix Echo, which is the Control Logix 5580 CPU emulator, as well as a uh, digital twin software called Factory IO. So, Optics um, Studio is here, and here's my um, my display that I've created. Um, simple one, kind of one screen called Converge, and I've uh, animated it a little bit better from some a previous demo I've created. Running in the background is Logix Echo, which is basically has a, uh, a Studio 5000 project um, running in it. You use Studio 5000, uh, use an L8 CPU as the base CPU, and you can run it in Logix Echo uh, as a full emulator. And then one more thing in the background is uh, Factory I.O., which is, a, again, a digital twin kind of uh, software tool that allows you to interface, um, you know, with this digital twin uh, with the actual logic from the, from the emulated controller here, too. It'll actually connect to a real controller as well, but I just happen to be running the uh, Logix Echo. So back on uh, Factory Talk Optics, now that I've kind of created my my uh, application and I've linked it and everything. I'm just going to run the emulator to show how this actually works. So we'll start the emulator up. And it opens in the uh, other window there. So let me minimize this. So now I have uh, an actual running optics application and I have my Factor Talk IO scene running in the background. And I've created just some simple push buttons, uh, one to start line one and to start line two. And then I've kind of mimicked the best I could with the, uh, the built-in templates that come with optics, uh, the, uh, the roller conveyor, as well as um, this kind of uh, standard belt conveyor to kind of simulate the, uh, the transfer conveyor there in the middle. And then I have another button over here to pause the exit conveyor uh, if I want um, from the boxes moving to the exit conveyor. So I'm going to start line one. See, I press the button, it starts line one. I'm going to start line two. Now I'll have some hidden objects in here that'll pop up once these sensors get triggered. So there are some uh, photo eye sensors here in the simulated scene. So uh, when they pop up, the uh, just kind of showing off the ability to hide uh, objects as well as make them flash. And then also had two hidden push buttons that, that became visible uh, once these conditions became true as well. So first part of this, I'm going to move this first crate to the exit. So I'm just going to press this button, move it to the exit. Once that did, the, uh, you know, the sensors cleared and those uh, hidden objects went back away again. And now I'm going to transfer uh, this pallet to the other belt just by pressing that button. The operator could control that process. Once the, uh, the pallet has moved to the other um, transfer, the, uh, the, two, the sensors got triggered again and then displayed. The hidden button popped up again, and I'll move that box to the output. Now, one other thing, I'm keeping a counter of every time we move a box and displaying that here as well. So in another video, I'll show how this was kind of built and how we kind of linked it to the scene.